Hi guys, it's Phaser Friday, and one thing that you guys have been asking about is the size fader when it comes to like position phasers effects. Uh, so we're gonna take a look at that today. Now it doesn't work exactly how it did in MA2. If you would like it to work that way, I cannot make it happen. The software does not do it. So please talk to your local distributor if you have any wishes on how this feature should work. However, what I can show you is how it's possible. Now, your hands are not tied. It's possible, you just have to know how it works. So let's do it. We're gonna take our spots gridded group and I'm going to put them at full. Now to make this work in the correct way, it has to have some sort of base look it's working from because then we want the fader to only affect the size of the phaser itself and not everything else. So we're gonna store all of this information here onto this sequence and I'm going to hit go on it and clear out my programmer. Perfect, and then I'm going to label this as my base. So this is my base and now the phaser will move away from this center point that we have it set to. I'm gonna grab my spots gridded group once again, go to my template phasers here and find the circle. Apparently I had scrolled all the way to the bottom and the circle is here, perfect. So now this we store into its own sequence. So I'm going to store this here and we'll call this my circle phaser. So let's label circle phaser, brilliant. Okay, so now I'm going to clear out the programmer However, this is automatically set to a master fader and master really only is gonna affect dimmer. So me pulling this down, it does nothing for the size of the phaser. To instead, I need to change the fader to be a temp. Now this temp would affect everything in this sequence and that is why it's really important that the phaser itself is stored all by itself. So the temp is only affecting what's in the sequence, meaning only the phaser, right? Okay, so now if I pull this up a little bit, I can see I have a very small circle running around my lights. If I pull it up, my circle just keeps getting bigger. So this is how I would get that size look, but it has to be separate from my other attributes and I would use the temp fader. Now the next question or the first question in the comments, cause it, you guys keep asking this and I love it, is how would I do this with recipes? So let's take a look at how we would do something like this with recipes. I'm going to off this sequence here. Now presets themselves can be stored directly in to or directly onto faders. So because it's all I want is just one preset in here, I'm actually gonna make the phaser in the preset pool itself. So let's scroll all the way to the other end of these guys here. I'm gonna go to edit setting, turn this into a recipe. My selection is gonna be my spots gridded group and my value is going to be that circle template. Now that this is a recipe right here, I'm going to assign this preset to a sequence or to an executor right here next to my sequences. You'll see it automatically makes it a temp. That's cool, saves me a step. And it's gonna function exactly like this does over here. We've just decided to use a recipe preset instead of our values stored directly into the queue. So now I can change the size of this fader, just like that. So these are a couple options. You could also put the recipe line right in the queue if that's your preferred workflow. Again, it's just like everything in MA, right? There's like four ways to do everything. And this is three ways that you can do the size fader with a temp fader for your position presets. All right, come back next week for more.